Okay guys, so in the last few videos, what we did, we took out the fuel injection pump, we took, tore it apart, and replaced all the seals and now put it together. In this video, what we're going to do is reinstall it right back into there, where it belongs, where we took it out from. So, without further ado, let's begin by putting it together. So before we put it in, we're going to temporarily remove this drill bit so we can plug it in. So we're going to get the few 13 millimeter bolts and get them started. There's one that goes right down into there, so we'll start that guy up. Now we're going to insert the three that go on this side, so let's get over there. Okay, so we have it's a little bit messy, so let's see if we can move a few things around and make a little bit of room in here for us. Okay, so we're gonna need that guy in there, okay? So, but basically, I think you can, you get kind of, oh, there we go. We made room, haha, -ha. good stuff. So, right here we have one hole, there's one right here, one right under there, and there's one down there in the middle. Okay, we will now proceed to reattaching the gear. Um, it's pretty simple. As you can see, there are holes for the bolt, three ho bolt holes, and there's just three other holes. Um, three of them, like I said, used for the bolts, and the other three are used to, for the alignment pin. Um, there's really no right hole for it to go into. Just put it on, and I'll show you the rest of the process. Okay, so these bolts do not need to be tightened. We actually need to leave them loose so we can get the alignment right. Should be good. Uh, we're gonna put the um, drill bit back in so we can have the, keep the alignment. There we go. Uh, now we're gonna get this guy on here. So let me point out one thing. Ideally, if you're doing this, you want this the alignment pin to be in the center of the hole. But if you can see what's happening in my case, let's see if I can get you in there. So there we go. If you can see, I'm actually a little bit off. So I'm going to redo this real quick, but I'm going to do this off camera. Basically, what I'm going to do is take the belt off and move it over one tooth that way. Okay, now that I have it more centered, we're good there. Now, what we're going to do is put the we're going to put this guy back in right here, so that it's right here, also size 13. Um, next thing to do, we're going to ten put, get tension on there. Okay, so I'm in a really weird position, but right there, if you can see what my tip of my finger moving around, there's a bar, and that thing is kind of like a alignment bar. There's a little slot in there that it's supposed to stay in, so that's just something to look for, make sure. If you do pull out this gear, make sure that it that one little bar is aligned back in where it should go. So um, up here, you have a little slot right here, and that is one of the alignment slots. I will show you the correct alignment. There is a spot it should be aligned with. Um, so I'm gonna get some needle nose pliers to turn this thing over, and this is also a size 13. Okay, so it's kind of hard to get the camera in there, but I'm gonna show you my technique using these snap ring pliers. Okay, so these stick them into the hole and just turn it. And once it's in place, which I think that is, I'm going to try tightening it. You see how that just slid off? So, so the way I think this job is meant to be done is with this bar out gone because honestly, there's no room. Like, I have a few of these bars that actually go for this, but none of them work for this because there's not enough room. So, I'm thinking what they designed it for is for the um, is for the engine mount to be gone. Okay, 
okay now that he's tightened down let me show you kind of what's supposed to be happening okay so I think you can make it out right here you have this little notch and in the wheel there's also a little slot basically those two are supposed to be aligned and based on what I see right here this is this is where it should be okay so we're gonna be attaching a few of these fuel lines here Remove this cover plate So, this is still loose. I don't know if you're going to see that. Yeah, this is still loose because um, I still haven't topped off the oil. So, we're going to plug it in like so and get it started by hand. And now, this is the tricky part because we're going to see if we can fit the 17 mil into here, tighten all these guys down. All that's left is just to plug this connector in. I'm gonna try to move him into place so that he's just chilling where he should be. Okay guys, so we got the cover off. We're gonna be setting the engine to top dead center. Um, looking at these marks right here, uh, we are good. These are the alignment marks I put on. So those are fine. Uh, looking down here in the slot, smudge. Right in there, we are actually a little bit off of the crankshaft, so we're gonna to need to move the crankshaft a little bit. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be locked in. We're not gonna to touch this because this is already set to top dead center. So all we need to do is just slightly turn the crankshaft a little bit more towards the front of the car, and it's a very, very minor adjustment. And then what we can do is tighten down this bolt right here. We'll tighten it all the way down, and we'll proceed to Putting on the cover, we'll need to prime the pump, and I'll need to do some reassembly here. The reason why it's disassembled right here is because um, I was cleaning out the uh, um, um, intercooler. So I'm just going to set you up so you guys can watch this thing adjust. I'll be adjusting it from down here, right there. That's the 19 mil bolt we'll be using to turn the crankshaft over to top dead center. Okay, so I got you in a place where you can see both the um, timing belt and the camshaft. So what you're going to notice is going to be a very minor adjustment. It doesn't need to be super huge and this part will move and this part will actually stay fixed. So And there we go. Very, very, very minor adjustment. Okay, so as you can see, we are good right there. Focus. We're good right there. Down in here. We are also good. So, now what we're going to do is tighten up these bolts right here. I will remove the drill bit and we're going to turn the engine over a few times just to be sure that everything's where it should be. Okay, using the 13 mil, we're going to tighten these bolts down. Using a size 18, tighten him. Got the drill bit out. So now what we're going to do is turn the engine over a few times. Okay, so I got your reposition. Hopefully you can see a little alignment mark right here. There's really nothing here to look at. Or here, I mean, there's a mark right here that I put there that aligns right here, but that's not really that important. Um, for this, we'll just be using the little slot in the center, the lock, to make sure that everything's aligned. So let's go do a few revolutions here. Okay, so first revolution's good. We are aligned here. Okay, 
Okay, so we hook up this hose. Okay, so before we prime the pump, um, one thing I want to do is start putting um, this side together since I took it all off so I can clean out the inner cooler. So I'm going to put this off together off camera because this wasn't really part of the thing. It was just something I wanted to do while I was here. And then I'll come back and we'll go ahead and prime the pump, uh, connect the last few things, and we'll try starting it up and see what happens. We got one of the hoses hooked up to my vacuum gun. Let's, we're going to get this line installed. I think this is the input line. So let's get ready just to do a quick swap here. It's actually dry, which is okay. Okay, we're going to start pumping here and see what we get. Okay, so we got a vacuum right now. Probably need to hook up the battery, so let's try that so we get the pump going. Because right now we're not getting anything in here. Okay guys, so I don't know how long it's been, but as you can see, I'm finally starting to get some fuel into the system. Fuel is starting to flow a little bit. Getting a ton of air bubbles. Um, I don't know how long I've been waiting for this, but I've had to um, reapply vacuum to the pump a few times. Uh, as you know, I was doing an oil change. I had time to do this. I had time to put this back on. I had time to do a few other things. And, well, <clears throat> as you can see, there's still air in the system. So, I don't know, I guess we're going to keep on waiting. But, I mean, this is a lot more progress. Like, right now, I can see a little bit of diesel fuel in there. So, this is progress, I can say. So, I guess we'll give it a few, some more time. And, I guess while that's happening, we'll do some other stuff. Uh, one of the things I'm going to be doing is actually installing, installing this cover. It goes right there. I also actually need to install this pipe right here. This pipe is not installed yet, so, but that's for a different reason. So, I'm gonna do those two things off camera because it's pretty boring to watch. Okay. Okay, guys, so we have the pump primed. It was a pain. Basically, the easiest thing I found instead of trying to suck it out through here was to loosen this 17 millimeter nut and put the hose in there and just try getting suction out. And I, I was getting a lot of fuel, so. That's good. Um, next thing would be to get the air out of here. For that, basically, as you can see, it's wrapped up right now, but I use the 17 mil and loosen these up right here. I just have them covered up, so now I need to turn the car over a few times and try to get basically get diesel pouring out, flowing from each of the injectors. Okay, and looking here, I'm not seeing any diesel. Which leads me to believe that there's still some air in the system. So I'm going to do this several times until I get diesel going. And I'll get back to you once that's done. And with that, we can actually start closing this up. Okay, so at this point there should be these only systems. I should be able to start it up now. So let's give her a try. Okay, since the car is not starting, that leads me to believe that my um, start of injection is off right now. Because it should theoretically just start right up, but it's not. So I think what we're going to do is make a quick adjustment right here. We're going to need to loosen these three bolts and make a slight adjustment, and then we'll try to start her up again. Okay, so using 13 mil, we're going to loosen these bolts just a little bit. It's a guessing game really from here. Um, I will try just for fun. Actually, let's see how much movement I have. We'll try right about there. I think that might be close enough to the center. Okay guys, so I've been playing around with this for a while. I've finally been able to actually get it to start. So, let me explain to you what the problem was. 
The problem was that when I removed the this huge body, um, what it adjusts is the fuel quantity. So whichever way you move it, it will give it more fuel or less fuel. I just removed it without marking anything and basically I was not giving the car enough fuel. So basically what I did to resolve this, I moved it all the way to the driver's side which means I'm just dumping fuel into the system like crazy and I retarded the timing a little bit, little by little until it start, started. Um, for the timing on the pump, um, I was a little bit more towards the advanced side, so I slowly started moving it back until the car actually started. But um, just as a proof of concept, let me start it up. Um, another thing to mention is that even though it will start, I will still need to um, I'll still need to do the final quantity adjustments and the timing once the car is actually warmed up. But just as a proof of concept, let me start the car up real quick.